Okay, so here is another update. Um, I just did a water change. Um, added a couple products, you know, the usual stuff. Um, also got some AccuClear. I wanted to see if it would clear up just a little bit more. Um, so I did a water change about maybe two hours ago. Uh, everybody's doing nice and healthy. You know, everybody's doing really good. A um, couple facts that I wanted to share. Uh, I'm the type of person that does research and research and research. And basically, you know, you get all kinds of different opinions. And I go, I figure them out and I figure out which is the best opinion to go with. Um, so what I found out about this moon sand is, okay, so I don't have to siphon it, um, you know, because that will disturb the bacteria and microorganisms and all that stuff that, you know, grow on the substrate and, you know, so I don't, I don't want to disturb those. I did earlier, um, they're helping to keep the sand down. I did some siphoning, try to clean up a lot of the sediment that's in there. There's still, you know, some sediment. Um, but what I found was that you don't siphon up the sand. So I did a lot of research and I was trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to clean up all the poop and all that other stuff? Uh, the uneaten food is no problem. These quarry cats, um, including the clown loach and the peacock eel, um, they pretty much, you know, eat up all the uneaten food that's everywhere. Um, but what I did find was maybe I'm going to get a snail. I'm thinking about a mystery snail. I know they get pretty big, but I think that'd be pretty cool. If he gets pretty big, maybe the clown loach won't eat them because I heard that they eat snails and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to get one of those to see how that works out as far as eating up the sediment. Um, only going to get one. I heard that if you get more, you know, they start mating and then you start getting snail infestation and all that stuff. And though it might not seem like it's that bad, what happens is if, you know, if they all die off, it's like the ammonia levels fucking skyrocket. You know, so definitely don't want to do that. Um, yeah, and another thing I learned, um, you know, about water changes, I hear 10 to 15 to 20 to 25% to 50% to 80% and all this other stuff and different times, you know, like once a week. There's some people that do it every day. There's some people that do it once a month. Um, what I found was basically I think I'll just do a water test about once a week and I'll keep that religious. Um, and I'll see what my parameters are, whatever it is, um, what I, what I basically got, um, you know, for the most part was, you know, if you've got a certain amount of nitrates or nitrites, and let's say you want to do half, you want to get rid of half of those, you do a 50% water change. Um, now I thought, you know, I was one of those people that thought, okay, well, I keep hearing people saying, oh, well, you do a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, because it messes up the bacteria and this and that. But, you know, it started making sense that the bacteria, yeah, there's some bacteria in the water, but mostly not in the water. Um, it's mostly growing, you know, on substrate, um, the heaters. It's basically growing on most of the decorations. Um, so, you know, there's really no problem there. I've even seen um, a couple people saying that they do an 80% water change. Uh, which didn't seem bad once I found out that, you know, the bacteria will survive, um, you know, on materials that are in there. Um, don't think I'll ever do an 80% water change, but, you know, if need be and it's an emergency, I will do a 50% water change if, you know, parameters are too high, nitrates, uh, nitrites and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, just a little bit of common knowledge of stuff that I learned that I thought would be helpful. Um... You know, and of course, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get comments saying people's opinions, but, you know, I think that's basically what I'm going to go with. Um, I'll basically do a water change as far as if it needs to be done. If I need to lower something, nitrates, nitrites, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll adjust accordingly and take out the appropriate amount of water. Um, also, what I found was, so that I don't disturb the substrate and the microbacteria in there, um, when you siphon, pretty much do mid-level, um, not too low. Um, also, I heard for if you got a well-planted tank that you should basically siphon from the top. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's a lot more stuff that I learned, but, you know, this is just a quick update on things that I just figured out, <laughs> you know, so... I mean, but, hey, that's my opinion. I mean, um, see what works best for you. Um, do your own research. See what's going on. And, um, you know, like I said, just adjust accordingly to what you think is the best way to go. So, other than that, yeah, everybody's doing good. Uh, parameters are good. Um, this tank is still 
super freaking clear. Not sure what I'm going to do in there. I might do like small school fish. I don't know. Make that one pretty or whatever. Um, but yeah, everybody's doing healthy. And uh, stay tuned for the next update. Thanks, guys.